Hello fellow creators, welcome to our exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. Today we're diving into the realm of manual exposure settings where we'll explore how to harness the power of ISO, shutter speed, aperture, and exposure parameters to achieve the best results for rendering a stunning kitchen scene. So let's take on a journey to uncover the secrets of manual exposure control. By adjusting these key parameters, we can fine tune the lighting and exposure, creating captivating and realistic renderings that breathe life into our virtual kitchen. So first of all, let's see how we can activate the manual exposure settings. And as you can see, we're pilot on this Cine Camera Actor. And in the details panel, I am going to expand the exposure section. And after that, let's change the metering to manual. And next, let's go to the camera section. And again, let's expand it and just activate the shutter speed and ISO options over here. But before we dive into the magical world of manual exposure, let's take a moment to understand the importance of ISO, shutter speed, aperture, and exposure settings in real-world photography. ISO determines the sensitivity of the virtual camera sensor to light. Higher ISO values make the camera more sensitive, resulting in brighter images, but it can introduce noise. And lower values reduce sensitivity, leading to darker images with less noise. And then we have shutter speed, which measured in fractions of a second controls how long the camera sensor is exposed to light. Faster shutter speeds freeze fast moving objects, while slower speeds capture motion blur for a sense of movement. And on the other side, we have aperture represented by f-stop values, which controls the size of the camera's lens opening. A larger aperture or lower f-stop allows more light and creates a shallower depth of field, while a smaller aperture or higher f-stop lets in less light and increases the depth of field. And finally, we have exposure which refers to the overall brightness of the scene, and positive exposure compensation brightens the image while negative exposure compensation darkens it. And these manual exposure settings allows us to craft the perfect lighting and atmosphere in our kitchen scene. So let's dive in and see how they work in Unreal Engine. So as you can see, the scene is already well lit, but we can take it to the next level by customizing the exposure settings to achieve our desired mood and visual impact. In this regard, I have placed four different cameras to evoke four different feelings using the exposure settings, I mean the manual exposure settings, so let's take a look on them. As the first camera's name indicates, to achieve this mode, I mean airy kitchen, we've used lower ISO settings allowing the camera sensor to capture less sensitivity to light. The result is a cleaner image with minimal noise and perfect for portraiting a well-lit kitchen. And our shutter speed is set around 1 16th or higher, effectively freezing any slight movements. And by choosing a larger aperture around 5.6, we introduce a subtle depth of field, gently blurring the background and drawing focus to main subject. And this effect adds a touch of elegance to our bright and welcoming kitchen. And after that, let's step into our modern and minimalist kitchen scene where sleek and clean lighting sets the stage for a contemporary and sophisticated ambience. And to achieve this mode, I have set the exposure around two and we have selected lower ISO settings resulting in a refined and noise-free image. And the shutter speed remains around 100 seconds or higher, capturing the dynamic elements with crispness and precision with a uh, aperture around 4 or 5.6, we opt for a deeper depth of field, ensuring that every element in the scene is sharp and clear, emphasizing the clean lines and minimalistic layout. And then we have this cozy kitchen camera. And to achieve this mode, we've opted for higher ISO settings, increasing the camera's sensitivity to light while this introduces some noise 
It adds a soft and comforting touch to our coat. And the shutter speed is set around 30 seconds or lower, creating a slightly longer exposure time with a larger aperture around 2.8. We embrace a shallow depth of field, giving prominence to specific elements while gently blurring the surroundings. And this effect adds a sense of intimacy, drawing the viewer's attention to the heart of the kitchen. So we've explored a variety of moods and lighting effects in our kitchen scene using different exposure values. And each setting has its unique charm and purpose, catering to various storytelling scenarios and artistic visions. And also, by mastering the art of manual exposure control, you can craft renders that evoke emotions, set the atmosphere, and elevate the visual appeal of your Unreal Engine projects. So, thank you for joining me on this illuminating journey of manual exposure setting. And I hope you've been inspired to experiment and infuse your own scenes with captivating moods and lighting effects. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more exciting Unreal Engine content. Happy rendering and may your scenes shine with brilliance of creativity.